Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. I hope you guys are all doing well. We hope you're doing super well, super well. So we're going to do our update on the situation going on with the COVID virus, right? Coronavirus, COVID. We use the vocabulary code name COVID. Yeah, so we see we're up to 66,962. And we know there's, you know, many people out there saying it's 10 times that, it's 100 times that. We don't know, um, but this is what they're giving us. So we see 218 others. Then we have Singapore with 67, Hong Kong with 56, Thailand 33, Japan 29, South Korea 28, Malaysia 19, Taiwan 18, Germany 16, Vietnam 16, Australia 15, the U.S. with 15 at the moment. France with 11, 10 with Macau, 9 with UK, UAE has 8, Canada is at 7, Italy 3, and the Philippines 3. So we see an ever-increasing blob there. It just keeps expanding. You're seeing that there's 8,098 totally recovered. That's what they say. Although they say you could catch this two or three times, you know, you could catch it again and again. Oh, that's wonderful. You're right. <laughs> And they're saying 1,523 deaths. Again, this is what they're saying. Now, if we look at the U.S., and this is out of cdc.gov, this is states with confirmed COVID-19 cases. Washington, California, Arizona, Texas, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Massachusetts. So those are the states, although there is reports that uh, there is a case in Hawaii now as well. And so, you know, it's, it's just interesting to see how this is all progressing. Now, people under investigation in the U.S., there was 347 people they're saying they tested. So, again, look at the bigger picture here, right? 347 tested negative, 81 pending. That's only 443 people that they've tested for this. That's what they're saying. Uh, yeah, that's really curious. Again, the numbers are screwed. So, yeah, I mean, if you only tested 443, when there's been tremendous numbers of people with the flu, a tremendous amount uh, with the flu, how do you know what's really here? You know, how do you really know? The fact is, we don't know. And, you know, again, <laughs> that's that's the big part of all this. We don't know, although there's... Ominous signs on the horizon. Coronavirus. U.S. will test people with flu symptoms and expansion of government response. So testing is going to initially be carried out by labs in L.A., San Fran, Seattle, Chicago, and New York. More sites are planned, so says the CDC. And this is out of the South uh, China Morning Post. And then here we see out Hal Turner. And you could take some with a grain of salt, you know, um, a lot of people really follow him and believe in him completely. And others think that it's a, it's a little bit of uh, salesmanship going on. But any way you look at it, you know, it's good to look at all sides. So they're saying, uh, Hal Turner, all persons with flu-like symptoms to be tested for coronavirus, not just samplings here either. Um, and all this is kind of leading to a real vibe like, you know, a lockdown scenario like what we're seeing with China which is, you know, just atrocious when we look at what's going on over there. So U.S. health authorities on Friday said they're ready to institute mitigation measures to minimize the harm caused by transmission of the novel coronavirus, even as they significantly expanded efforts to contain the outbreak from becoming widespread in the country. So in a telephone briefing with reporters, Nancy Messonier of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said the U.S. would begin to test individuals for the coronavirus if they have been identified by local health authorities as having flu-like symptoms. So, you know, it's going to make a lot of people, I think it's going to make some people not want to get tested or not even want to go to the doctor. What do you think? Um, I think the people who are asleep are going to want to go run and get tested because they're going to think that they're special or they're doing the right thing because they're asleep. Mm, and they haven't maybe seen what's going on. Right. Now, this is also a hell turn. This is curious. 2005, going back to 2005, China Defense Minister's speech, bioweapons will clean up America for China invasion. 
And so with all the, you know, coronavirus outbreak in the news, questions swirling if it was a bioweapon released either accidentally or purposefully. So a well-known speech by Comrade General Qi Haoxin, uh, vice chairman of China's military commission on December uh, 2005, gets, gives the world insight into the truth. Well, that's according to this author, again, here are some excerpts to prove that the Chinese openly discussed using biological warfare not only against the U.S., but their own people. Western countries established colonies all over the world, therefore giving themselves an advantage on the issue of living space. Ah, Liebenstrom, that's what the Nazis were always talking about. To solve this problem, we must lead the Chinese people into going outside China so that they can develop outside China. Only countries like the United States, Canada, and Australia have the vast land to serve our need for mass colonization. Therefore, solving the issue of America is the key to solving all other issues. First, this makes it possible for us to have many people migrate there and even establish another China under the same leadership of the CCP. We, the descendants of the Chinese nation, are entitled to the possession of the land! It is historical destiny that China and the United States will come into unavoidable confrontation on the narrow path and fight. And that's just, that's not him just saying that. That's many of the experts out there say it's just inevitable at some point. In the long run, the relationship of China and the United States is one of a life and death struggle. Only by using special means to quote unquote clean up America will we be able to lead the Chinese people there. Only by using non destructive weapons that can kill many people will we be able to reserve America for ourselves. There has been rapid development of modern biological technology, and new bioweapons have been invented one after another. Of course, we have not been idle in the past years. We have seized the opportunity to master weapons of this kind. We are capable of achieving our purpose of cleaning up America all of a sudden. When Comrade Zhao Ping was still with us, the party central committee had the perspicacity to make the right decision not to develop aircraft carrier groups and focus instead on developing lethal weapons that can eliminate mass populations of the enemy country. Biological weapons are unprecedented in their ruthlessness, but if the Americans do not die, then the Chinese have to die. If the Chinese people are strapped to the present land, a total societal collapse is bound to take place. According to the computations of the author of The Yellow Peril, more than half of the Chinese will die, and that figure would be more than 800 million people. Just after liberation, our yellow land supported nearly 500 million people. Well, today the official uh, figure of the population is more than 1.3 billion, and that was back then. Uh, this yellow land has reached the limit of its capacity. One day, who knows how soon it will come that the Great Collapse will occur. Any time, and more than half the population will have to go. It's indeed brutal to kill one or 200 million Americans. But that is the only path that will serve the Chinese century, a century in which the CCP leads the world. We as revolutionary humanitarians do not want deaths, but if history confronts us with a choice between deaths of Chinese and those of Americans, we'd rather pick the latter. As for us, it is more important to safeguard the lives of the Chinese people and the life of our party. The last problem I want to talk about is of firmly seizing the preparations for military battle. The Central Committee believes as long as we resolve the United States problem at one blow, our domestic problems will all be readily solved. Therefore, our military battle preparations appears to aim at Taiwan, but in fact is aimed at the United States, and the preparations is far beyond the scope of attacking aircraft carriers or satellites. Marxism pointed out that violence is the midwife for the birth of a new society, therefore war is the midwife for the birth of a Chinese century. So Hal Turner remarks that it's interesting that here we are 15 years later, China's suffering was determined to be the release of a bioweapon from a level 4 bioresearch lab in Wuhan. Did they intend to use this on us? Or, or was it a preemptive strike? <laughs> you know, knowing that this is what your your potential enemy has already said they are going to do. Uh, with Shanghai and Beijing both going into full martial law on February 13th, it's possible they're actually still preparing to use it against us. You know, so it's something to think about. This, you know, think about what do you think? Well, 
It feels really creepy. It feels like one of those things from the past, you know, that you you pull back into here and now and you look at and you just you jaw drop. Yeah. You know, to me, and, and I told you, I said, I wonder if this is the first shots of World War Three. You remember several times? Yeah. Still feel like that. I still feel like it is, you know, whether it was unintentional or intentional. And here we see the Marines are coming. The Marines are coming to a local community near you where the COVID-19 plan sounds a lot like martial law. And if you look at, and we talked about this yesterday, the Mare Edmonds, uh, one that was just released from Marines.mil, and we have that link as well. Uh, I got moved back a few, but I have that link as well for you guys. Um, it gets into some some excerpts just looking at it. And it really does feel like that. I mean, so, you know, the groundwork's being laid um, for, you know, camps, isolation, lockdown. So should we prepare for lockdown? Uh, you know, as I said before, uh, you know, ever since they came out with that prepare for the grid down for six months, that's been my mindset, you know, is prepare for at least six months. And I think it's still something everybody should do just as a regular part for the course. As best you can, you know, get comfortable where you're at, at least, you know, learn, get to know your neighbors. Most definitely, you know, and do whatever you can to prepare. Mm -hmm. So here we see health officials to update coronavirus cases in San Diego. There's two people that have been confirmed over in, in uh, San Diego. And so I was listening to President Trump talking about, I think he was saying 120 or 112 miles of wall that was laid along the border of Arizona and New Mexico and and Texas down around El, El Paso. And I've always had that feeling that wall is going to keep people in as well as keep people out. You know, so it's, it's just interesting to see. And Border Patrol will deploy elite tactical agents to sanctuary cities. And so, you know, on the on a lot of um, the conspiracy sites, there's people applauding and, and saying, yay, you know, there's no more illegal aliens coming in now. We have tactical agents there. Think about it in the big picture. You know, what's going on right now? What's potentially going to happen? You know, what do we just read? We just read about the Marines are coming to a local town near you. And we're, now we're seeing elite tactical agents to sanctuary cities. Now, this happens to be along the border. You know, I, I'm getting the feeling that this world's going to see borders locked down everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. It's going to be like a global thing. And it could be the viruses and sicknesses is what we really have to worry about. And I've said before that, you know, I think that there's earth changes that are obviously extremely dangerous. We have to be dealing with those as best we can. And as I've said before about the earth changes, some areas I don't think are going to be livable anymore. Uh, people are going to have to leave them and, and move to different areas. Um, and so, you know, earth changes are a big thing. There's a lot of things that are a big thing, but nothing, nothing, nothing gets my attention more than big government. And especially what looks to be a play uh, that's going on right now that could potentially truly bring in uh, just the overt, you know, one world government where there already is a covert one world government going on. Now it's going to be just over it, and it, it, that's what it feels like is coming. As we had heard the WHO just praising China, uh, you know, <laughs> for the way they're handling things. And how do you, do you want to see this in America? Look, these people are tied. It's like a chain gang. How do we know some of these people are not political dissidents? You know, we've seen too many people that look pretty healthy. It is a excuse to, you know, basically get rid of any sort of opposition, get rid of anybody that you might brand as a, a problem, you know? What's those? Like a person of ill repute or, I, you know, whatever terminology you want to use. Um, basically, you're Alex Joneses of the world if you think he's not a plant, you know, from Assad. Uh, as well as others, you know, anybody that's been speaking up in mass in China, I wonder how many of these guys have ever said anything negative about the CCP, you know, on, on Twitter, for instance. Exactly. This is what's going on in mass. Of course, we don't know what they're spraying, you know, this poor girl. Okay, I saw one that didn't have a mask on. 
everybody's getting fumigated. Uh, you know, it's it was like that in Nazi Germany too. Yeah, you know, when they took you off the train, going to put you in the camp, and they just sprayed you down. Oh, we're just getting rid of lice. Yeah. Sure. And we see so many people, as you know, Harry Chen is saying here, wrangling up the trouble troublemakers has never had a better smokescreen. It's true. And the brutality, too. I mean, just like, I don't know what the guy is saying, but they sure like to hit him, you know, because they do. They just got their batons out and they just whack, 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 you know, just at will. Whack them again. Y- you know, is this is this going to be coming to the U.S.? I certainly hope not. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And this one, this one's a pig. There's a pig running down a highway, a wild pig. And there's nobody out getting them. It says just a few weeks ago, thousands of people would have chased that pig. Now no one, you know, in the most populated country in the planet. There's nobody around, but the pig is out there. And then look at these Gestapo death squads walking through. It's just, you know, do you need the shotguns? Yeah, it looks pretty damn ominous. Why does that say SWAT? That's in English. Yeah, exactly. I just caught that. Yeah, that's weird. Why does that say SWAT? Is this is this a fake video? Right. Or is this something like, are they ready for not just China, but the U.S.? And look at that. Police. Police. Why is it in English? In Wuhan. What do you think? Is this, is this, maybe this is bull. Well, it, it could it could be. I mean, I've smelled nothing but n- wrongness since the beginning of this. So, so what do you guys think? Um, to me, that is seriously suspicious. Unless they're ready, you know, maybe they are ready to do a red dawn, even though they're decimated. You know, uh, well, apparently decimated. I don't know. This is just, you know. There's just too much going on here, and it's it's more than just a little suspicious. Coming into the house, smashing down a plate, (laughs) that guy gets mad. Nobody ever really strikes out much. I guess nobody really knows Kung Fu over there, and I, I don't mean that in a negative light, but, you know, there's nobody that's actually fighting back at all when when approached by the powers that be, and they slap him, and they slap him again. Are they just used to that over there? Mm, breaking things, breaking the TV, I guess. I'm not sure what they're breaking there. It's like a table. A table. What's stuff in it? Maybe they're looking for some. I don't know. But it's just craziness that we're seeing. So now we're seeing CDC now operating on the premise that COVID-19 may have been in the U.S. for a while, maybe occurring alongside the flu. Well, if they only tested 400-some people, yeah, (laughs) you know, maybe it's been here for weeks, maybe it's been here for months, who knows? So, you know, that's the problem, we don't know. And this says, this is war. The Wuhan government announced today all residential complexes will be sealed up. People need to get permission to leave. My mom told me there's only one food market in our complex and she couldn't even get flour. Scary situation. So talking about the flu and, and, you know, Cindy said, well, you know, is it a bad flu year? Well, it's a good statement. So we could see here, um, and this is going by years, estimate cases like 2010, 2011, 21 million, 2011, 2012, 9,300,000. Thousand, uh, and then it jumped up to 34 million in 2012 and 2013, and about the same 2013, 2014, and about the same again 2014, 2015, 
dipped a little to 24 million, then went to 29 million, and then 2017 to 2018 jumps up to 45 million, and so far this season, 35 million. So where's that going to end up? You know, is that going to end up, I don't know, 55, 60? And then what percentage is COVID when you have all these people and none of them, I mean, 400 have been tested? So, and this is Dr. Eric Feigel-Ding. Uh, he was on CNN, you know, talking about the number of coronavirus cases could easily be 10 times higher. And he's been on, on the case. Out of Epic, Ta- Epic Times, looking at the barbed wire, the, this is where the Uyghurs are. And, and, and the, these are Muslim people that are getting re-educated, quote-unquote, so they could be productive citizens. Um And of course, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, you know, all these things are things that we would hope every country would have and embrace. But these poor people, you know, if it's let loose in there and you're in a lockdown situation like that, it's going to decimate the population, you know, let alone how bad are they getting treated right now. And here we see China is disintegrating, steel demand, property sales, traffic is all approaching zero. It is big time. It's going to make the government desperate as well. Yeah, it's. I mean, there's a lot going on here, a lot, of think, lot to think about and a lot to watch. Wartime conditions in Wuhan? Well, it certainly looks like it. You know, people are doing whatever they want to others, people, quote unquote, in charge, the officials. Harvard expert warns coronavirus likely just now gathering steam. That's pretty ominous. Yes, it is. As we look at some pictures there, it's most definitely uh, disconcerting times to say the least. This is a WHO. Secretary Duque says there are mixed pathogens in the 45, 44-year-old male including streptococcus, pneumonia, and hemophilus, influenza type B. And then it was kind of um, rehashed and the statement was changed. There's been reports of, you know, different things mixed in like HIV. We talked about that before. This, This is just, you know, I couldn't be more suspicious. Exactly. That's why I'm just watching all of this unfold. And I believe things more when I see, see them. And as we know, China is basically in a martial law situation and U.S. military ordered to prepare for pandemic duty and containment. China factories remain closed till May 1st. And, and you know, that's just going to keep getting pushed back farther and farther. And uh, health officials contact 200, including MPs, over UK coronavirus scare because these people attended a conference with a delegate who has since tested positive. So, my friends, uh, as always, prepare, prepare, prepare. I would isolate as much as possible. I mean, we just go out into the desert for the most part. We still have been making a few runs to, the, like, the local dollar store for, you know, tiny little things here and there. And, and at, that, at some point soon, that will probably stop as well. Um, I think it's time, you know, to be as cautious as possible because probably there's a, a lot more cases here. And, you know, who knows how it's being spread? You know, how have your skies been lately? Have they been cloudy up there, you know? Uh. (laughs) We've actually been a little cloudy here, too, so. Oh, yeah. Prepare, 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 my friends. But don't fear. Just prepare. Because, you know, I've heard a lot of people also just, and me too, you know, whenever I talk about this, it makes you feel ill. It just makes you feel ill. And um, I'm going to dig it up. There was a book that was written years ago, 20 or 30 years ago, and it's quote unquote channeled material. Uh, so a lot of people won't want to look at that, but it accurately described what's happening right now. And uh, it was very, very ominous. And one of the things it recommended was unplugging, mm-hmm. unplugging, staying away because, you know, consciousness is all about vibration and frequency. And yeah. so is dis ease. Yeah, I mean, um, and turn off your phone, unplug your TV, unplug the internet, just get away from the EMF for a few hours a day. Yeah. All right, my friends, as always, thank you for your support on Patreon and Ko-Fi. God bless and namaste. Namaste.